die before you die, because there is no chance after. I don't mean physical death, but rather a transformation, a rebirth into a higher version of yourself, to transcend the limitations that bind you and to soar into the boundless skies of your potential. For it is in the death of your old self that you pave the way for the birth of your true, authentic self. From the moment you enter this world, a narrative develops, connecting itself around your existence. You are assigned a name, shaped by your environment, and you become a vessel molded by the currents of conditioning. Your thoughts, the very fabric of your thinking, bear the imprints of this journey. And so, you gather wants, beliefs and labels that seek to describe who you are. In this story, you find comfort. You connect deeply with the narrative, believing it to be the defining essence of your being. You become identified with the characters you play, the roles you assume. Yet if you were to turn your gaze inward and examine yourself honestly, you would come to realize that much of what you believe about yourself can shift, transform, and even dissolve in an instant. The wants, beliefs, and labels that weave your identity are but fragments of a story you have grown attached to. They are ephemeral brushstrokes on the canvas of your existence, transitory whispers in the winds of perception. They do not represent the essence of who you truly are. When you take off all the layers and peel back the mask, you see the vastness of who you are. In the depths of honest examination, you discover that your true essence transcends the confines of any story, any label, any construct. It is the boundless spark of consciousness that permeates all existence. To truly know yourself, you must embrace the fluidity of your nature. You must liberate yourself from the shackles of attachment to identities, stories and labels. In doing so, you open yourself to the infinite possibilities of self-discovery and self-realization. Embrace the freedom to reimagine, to recreate, and to rewrite the narratives that have shaped you. Unburden yourself from the weight of false identities and stand in the brilliance of your true being. Beyond the confines of stories, there lies an indescribable beauty, a space where your essence resides, pure and unadulterated. The journey of dying, it is a paradoxical dance, both painful and beautiful. It shatters the illusions you have clung to, revealing the falsehoods you once believed to be true. You must summon the courage to let go, to unlearn, and to free yourself from the chains that bind you. This journey is not about accumulating new knowledge, but about breaking free from the grip of the ego. It is the ego that perpetuates these stories, holding them together like fragile webs spun from fear and insecurity. As you detach yourself from their fragile hold, the ego starts to fade away and its power declines. The ego, however, wrongly believes that letting go of certain things means ceasing to exist. Its resistance clings desperately to the familiar, making change difficult. It wants to maintain control, grasping onto its own illusionary reality. But if you dare to look closely, you realize that the ego itself is not real. It is a construct, a mirage that has held you captive for far too long. There is no true thinker, no owner of thoughts. Thoughts arise, passing like ripples on a pond, and you mistake them for your very essence because you have identified with them. The notion of you are thinking is but an illusion, a clever creation of the mind. By relinquishing this false identification, you open yourself to a realm beyond the ego's limited domain. You step into a space of pure awareness, where thoughts lose their power to define you. In this truth, you find liberation. Only the beauty of discovering your true essence can compare to the pain of destroying your illusions. It is a journey of reclaiming your authentic self, unburdened by the ego's chains. Killing the ego is not a literal act of destruction. It is a profound shift in your perception, a transformation of your relationship with the self. You disidentify from the ego 
no longer allowing it to control your thoughts, emotions and actions. In time, as you observe and understand the ego's workings, it begins to settle down. It comprehends that it no longer holds the reins. And in that surrender, harmony is restored. But how do you die before you die? These questions are crucial, particularly for those who have known suffering intimately. It is through this process that you begin to perceive everything as it truly is. Consider this. What remains when thoughts fade away? What is left when you suspend the labeling and judgment of your experiences? And if you refrain from molding the present moment into what you think it should be, what exists? This experience, my dear friend, cannot be fully captured or conveyed through language. Words and explanations fall short. Instead, I invite you to simply observe your surroundings, to be present in this very moment. What remains is just what is. It is an acceptance of the present reality without interpretation. When you choose to release fear, anxiety and depression, you must come to realize that they are nothing more than stories woven by the intricate threads of the mind. They are not truths. They are illusions that confine you. In the midst of a problem or fear, thoughts and sensations arise, entangling you in a web of beliefs and perceptions. Consider fear as an example. Your mind is filled with stories, painting vivid scenarios of what might unfold. You find yourself trapped within the confines of these self-created illusions. But if you take a step back, if you become the impartial observer, you may realize that fear is nothing more than energy vibrating in your chest. This energy does not harm you. It is merely a sensation, a transient wave passing through your being. Similarly, thoughts arise, but they are not happening to anyone. They are simply happening. There is no need to believe in these stories or label uncomfortable sensations as negative, for at their core, they are nothing but energy. By recognizing that these stories are creations of the mind, you reclaim your power. You free yourself from their grip. You realize that you have the ability to let go, to release the hold they have on you. In doing so, you liberate yourself from their limitations. Remember that, fundamentally, everything you experience is energy. The stories, the sensations, they are all part of the energetic dance of life. By relinquishing the belief in these stories, by allowing them to pass through you without attachment, you discover the freedom that lies within. Release the stories that no longer serve you. Unburden yourself from the weight of fear, anxiety and depression. In doing so, you embrace the truth of your inherent strength and resilience. You open yourself to the vast expanse of possibilities that exist beyond the confines of your self-imposed limitations. Dying before you die is a significant and often painful process. It is a process where the fabric of your reality breaks down and you witness the crumbling of what once seemed certain. In truth, it is the dismantling of the old story, the story that defined your existence. You may grieve the loss of your old story, and that is okay. There may be a period of isolation, where the universe holds you in sacred embrace, preparing you for the rebirth that awaits. It is in this time of solitude that you shed the layers of illusion and come face to face with the truth. It is a time to align your being with this truth, to transcend the limitations imposed by the ever-chattering mind. Embrace this truth, my friend. You are boundless, limitless energy, intricately woven into the fabric of existence. The illusion of separation fades away, revealing the interconnectedness of all things. You are not confined within the boundaries of this world. Rather, the world exists within you. Without you, there would be no human experience, no nature. You are the very life force that animates all that is. The illusion of separateness dissolves as you come to realize that you are intimately entwined with the fabric of existence itself. Once you are reborn, these truths become clear, self-evident. 
Beyond the pain lies profound liberation. Embrace the truth of your boundless nature, for you are life itself. The world, with all its wonders and mysteries, resides within you. In this moment, pause and reflect, asking yourself a profound question. Who were you before the world imposed its definitions upon you? In the depths of this inquiry, recognize that your true essence transcends the constructs of the world. Before the labels, the roles and the expectations, there existed a pure, unadulterated presence, an infinite wellspring of being. If you're still here, I'd love to ask you a small favor. Could you kindly share this message with your friends and family? I believe it carries a powerful and uplifting message that could touch their hearts too. Thank you so much. Wishing you a truly beautiful day ahead.